you so much for joining me again on Exploring My Hometown. Sadly, this is our last one in Virginia, but excited to roll out some new series on my channel. So please hit like, subscribe to see what's coming up next. So for our final afternoon, my sister, while she was in town with my niece, we decided to take them to a rooftop bar called Orion's Roof. Uh, this is a restaurant that's kind of like Asian fusion and I'll show you a little bit of the food later but it's actually at the very tippy top of that hotel and it overlooks the ocean. Once you step off the elevators this is the front entrance and I'll show you the rest of it a little bit later uh, but once we were settled uh, Bella wanted me to carry her so I couldn't record uh, but this was our view for the afternoon and it is absolutely stunning. The whole place has panoramic views and it's just warm and cozy and really inviting and we just loved being there. I don't recommend bringing children here just because it is a little bit more upscale and there's not a lot for them to do. Also the food's not really, really catered towards them um, so this would be a really nice date night out. Uh, or bringing some friends and having like a couples group or something, uh, but I would suggest leaving the kids at home. So because they have so much, uh, it's more like an Asian fusion style. Uh, it took us a little bit longer to figure out what we wanted to eat and drink, uh, but we ended up with these um, kind of like soft bun uh, pork sandwiches as appetizers. And then my mom, my sister, and Blake all got bento boxes, which came with um, these really suctiony um, miso soups. And uh, nobody else really liked it, but Bella really enjoyed it. So we all gave all of our tofu over to her and she enjoyed eating all of that instead of her bento box, which you can see right there because they have them for kids as well. Um, so yeah, she loved it. The food was fantastic. And we had a great time hanging out together and experiencing this new restaurant together. So while everybody got the bento box, which you could pick pork, chicken, or shrimp, I decided to go a little bit different and I ended up with a sandwich and some home fries. It was so good. I would eat like 10 of them, but I was so full. Uh, but this is on our way out, so I will let you enjoy the beauty of the restaurant as I kind of just walked around. So Blake and I were actually on the terrace for the first time that we went for our anniversary back in November, which is perfect weather. We loved it. Uh, we got to sit on one of those lounge couches and just enjoy the weather. Uh, but we decided to take Bella to look at the ocean. And of course she immediately wanted to go in. So we packed up and oh, headed no. down to the ocean for the rest of the day.
Before we left, of course, we had to make sure everybody used the restroom because we didn't know the next time we were gonna to go to a restaurant. Uh, what I love about these, they're all single stall. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. You can just pick whichever one is open and um, decide to use it. Uh, but this one, unfortunately, somebody forgot to flush, which was super gross, but I just picked a different one. Um, and then we left. Hey guys, so we just finished um, eating at Orion's Roof with my mom and my sister. It was really nice to hang out with them um, because Katie lives out in Colorado. Um, and we got to hang out with Bella and celebrate her birthday, my birthday, and my sister's birthday. All before, you know, everybody kind of moves to different states. Uh, but now Blake and I are going to a Cinco de Mayo festival at Waterside. So we're gonna go celebrate a little bit early. So this is the view from the parking garage. Um, you can walk down a flight of stairs or take an elevator and then you can walk across, you know, so you don't have to worry about the busy street. Just walk across um, the little bridge right here, which is super nice and really convenient. So what you see right here is the front side of Waterside and then the rest is in the back. So they have a ton of different, you know, bars, Blue Moon, PBR, tap houses, restaurants um, that you can just walk into one area and they're all connected to one another, which is super nice. Um, so once you walk in, we're kind of on the second story so you can see down into the other restaurants and bars that are there. Um, they also have a fudge area and a really good bakery right there. Um, Blake is always trying to jump in the photo, uh, but we got in line. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit more decorated, but they did have some specialty drinks that we tried. Um, but like I say later in the video, it was kind of lame. So we left a little bit early. Once we got our margaritas, we decided to go outside. It was beautiful out and we couldn't find any seating up at the restaurants right there. Everything was kind of like seat yourself. Uh, so we decided to walk down to the pier um, and take a seat on one of the benches there and just kind of look out to the ocean. Um, as you can see, there is a barge coming in, which I always love to just sit here and look at the stuff that they have going on. Um, and it's pushing another barge, which is really interesting. So you can also rent tickets and go on the ferry that's right there. Um, it kind of takes you around the Norfolk area and bay. Uh, but what I thought was really interesting is that Blake pointed out uh, the ship number uh, 21 is actually the USS New York, uh, which the front half is made out of the uh, metal from like the World Trade Center and stuff. So I thought that was really neat to see. As you can see, we are back at the house. Uh, we did not stay at the single day mile festival for very long just because it wasn't really a festival. Uh, you paid $10 and you got drink specials, but it was like 
$5 margarita or like a tequila shot or like $2 beer. So any happy hour anywhere. So we stayed there for about an hour. We got some cool videos of some, some of the ships that are out there. Um, so I'll show you guys, you know, what that kind of looked like. It, it was beautiful outside. So we just grabbed a margarita, sat outside. Um, and that was pretty much it. And then we came home, ordered a pizza. I'm wearing my new uh, Hunt Co. sweatshirt. Um, they're also a follow YouTuber. Um, so yeah, it was it was a lot of fun to just hang out. But uh, we ended up just coming home early, and we're gonna have a chill night at home. And Blake also made me a delicious uh, old fashioned. So super excited to drink this and chill out on our deck. So that kind of ends our Exploring My Hometown series, but thankfully we have a new series coming out, Exploring Cleveland, episode two, Moving, will hopefully come out next week, but I'm moving, so we all know how that goes. Uh, but if you would like to see that process and me exploring Cleveland and everything that has to offer, please like and subscribe and comment any places if you know in Ohio that I should visit. Thanks guys. And I'll see y'all next week.